In this video, we are going to go through how to create a color palette for you to use in your own designs or something that you can even upload to any social media website. So if you go to places like Pinterest, I'm sure you have come across color palettes before. These are usually from websites that will allow you to download them and you can use the color palette for designs. But in this video, we're going to learn how to create something just like this for your own use, or even something that you can upload to your own website. I love traveling, so I take a ton of photos to inspire my own designs, make my own color palettes from them. So my camera and my phone are with me all the time. If you're not as comfortable using your own photos, you can always go to websites like Unsplash or Pexels and you can just search. So I'm gonna search C. And any of these images are available for you to download, to use for any project that you would like. You can just click on this arrow and it will download the file in whatever size you select. You can also go to places like Flickr and I have already searched C and at this point it just pulls everything up. If you click on any license, you can go in and change to like commercial use allowed. That way you know that you are allowed to use it and you can click on it. And at the bottom right, you will see an arrow with a line and it'll give you the different sizes that you can download. So I already have two images pulled up in Affinity Designer. So I'm just going to click on this and copy. So Command C or Edit Copy. Go back to the new document that I created and I'm going to hit Command V to paste or you could go to Edit and Paste. This is a little too large for this. So I am just going to scale this down so that it fits into this just a little bit better. Next, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and make any size or shape that you would like. You can even use hearts if you'd like. You can use circles, any shape that you would like. For this, I'm just, like I said, going to use the rectangle. So I want to make five of these. So with this one selected, I'm just going to copy Command C and paste Command V and move this over and just continue doing that. So I'm going to select that first rectangle and then come over to your left toolbar and select the eyedropper tool. And you can just click around in your image to find the colors that you would like. I typically will start with a darker color. Um, depending on the color palette, I'll either go for like a dark gray, a navy, or dark brown. So I like this dark brown. Just going to move on to my next color, which I usually like to go ahead and pick out my darkest color and my lightest color. So usually something like a light gray, like a beige, a white, even like a light blue, depending on the color palette, which I think I'm going to do this time is the light blue. And now, I know that I want at least one green, a darker blue, so maybe two blues, two greens, and then that brown color. So I'm going to switch to the greens. Now I would like a darker green. I'm not sure if that's the one I want though. So it does take playing around to get the exact color that you would like, because now that I have this green, I don't really like that lighter green that I originally picked. So I'm just gonna go back through 
and change that until I find the green that I would like. And I think I am pretty set on that. I really like that color palette. So like I said, you can choose to use this and share it on social media. And for that, I'm just going to change this just slightly so that it's easy to share. So I want to line these up so that they're the same width as that image. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this artboard so that it is the width of the image along with the colors and then hit enter. So now this is easy for you to share. Just throw on your logo somewhere on here, maybe in the bottom of this image. And then go to file, export. I would do a JPEG. You can select your size that you would like. And the quality and then export. Okay, so once you have exported it, you are done. You could save the document so you can go in and edit it later. Uh, for this, I'm just going to delete the photo. And if these are colors that you want to use in your designs, I recommend just keeping a copy off to the side of your artboard so they're easy to pull anytime that you are designing. So I'm going to take it back a few steps. I'm going to leave these five colors exactly where they're at and I'm going to pull in this second image. And as you notice, you can use this as a template if you have saved it already from the first image. So just align it back up with your artboard. Select your first rectangle and the eyedropper tool. Just like last time, pick your darkest color first. And then pick your lightest color. And then continue on until all of your colors have been filled. Okay, so now we have created two color palettes that you can share with your followers on social media or something you can use in your own projects. Like I said, it's a great way to take photos that have inspired you while you were out traveling and bringing it into your designs by using colors. Another benefit of this is that you know the colors work really well together because they look great in your photo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.